What's the scoops with May Day? Tomorrow is the big day as the city and county of Honolulu Department of Parks and Recreation's 96th Lay Day celebration commences at Kapi'olani Park. And together with our friends from Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry, we are getting you ready by demonstrating how to make a lei in one of the many different styles. Aloha, I'm David D. This is Mele Apana over here, Lena Hi, Girl over here. And joining Aloha. us on the couch today is our 2022 Lake Queen, Natalie Brown, a queen. Aloha, queen. Hi, queen. Aloha. 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 Yes, is it a queen. queen or a queen? Uh, <laughs> my husband calls me his queen. Yeah, it's a queen. queen. <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting ready for the big day tomorrow? Of course, it is the day when the uh, incoming queen and her court, they have their investiture ceremony, which basically means they're installed for the makahiki that is coming up ahead. Can you talk about that investiture ceremony? Yes, that's the highlight of when the queen gets invested into the city and county of Honolulu by uh, the mayor, which Rick Jardi was the mayor when I was invested. Um, and a lot of people don't know that uh, the queen gets to select a lot of the kane for her court. Mm. And, you know, like my husband was my pukani, my brother was my uh, ali'i, was my ihe, and my nephews were all in the court. And Mark Koga from the Department of Parks and Recreation and his team, they took the time to educate us about the roles and the responsibilities that we play for that day, for lay, um, for lay day. And a lot comes to close as our our own kings and queens had done in the past. And the next day we go to Mana'ala, mm -hmm. all the lays from the exhibit and the um, contest is taken there so that we can lay and pay respects to the real kings and queens of Hawaii. And from there we go to Kauai Hau, um Church and we pay respects to Luna Lilo. Um, and Kenneth Makuakane, he was so kind enough. Kahu. Yes. yes, to, uh, yes, Kahu, to allow us to enter the tomb of Luna Lilo and wow. entering my princesses were so great because as we got permission to enter they started to oli. I had chicken skin mm -hmm. from head to toe and when I laid the lay on his tomb this warm sensation and peace came about and I will never forget that experience so I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to be lay queen. Ooh, Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Well first of all I just love the fact that your family is involved in this and you get to choose that your family is in, involved in yes. such an important day for you mm -hmm. and when we talk about the importance that importance of lay when you lay that lay down on on Luna Lilo's tomb how important is lay for you is that something that you can share with our viewers sure. what lay actually means sure so lay is a physical manifest of aloha it's giving receiving making a lay it's a kind gesture um, of goodwill it connects people it builds relationships and the person that's receiving the lei experiences that feeling of aloha that they will take you know, with them always and be appreciative of whoever had given them the lay. Wow, that's why yeah. we feel this. this yeah. 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 You gifted us with this? Yeah. Is it Huh? Yes, oh, my nice. kai polo lei. Yeah, Ooh. and sister, you know you've been uh, a lei queen for so, quite some time. So, what is what are you up to next? Like, what are you been up to? Well, you know, um, I was so blessed to have other lei queens that came to me, and we created a group called Nale Maloa, which means the forever lays. And this is myself, uh, designer Pua Mana Crab, Ooh. and Kumo Hula um, Pua Mohala Kahlokula, and we felt that we had a purpose and kuleana to continue this so our lay mission is to educate and share the importance of our Hawaiian culture and traditions um, being skilled and knowledge in how to make the different lay methods so that we can teach the public and how to create lay gardens because it's so important our hamana we always teach them about being pono and living you know your mana has to be good because mm -hmm. your mana is your spirit your energy your life force and being pono I always say it is a choice you know, living a life of balance um, with guiding principles and good intentions, and that all goes into the lay. Mm -hmm. So you are connected to the aina, you know, and, and that's important to keep grounded. And the nutrients, you know, we nurture the flowers and yes. the foliage. So we have to continue that. So we want to educate more people I and, love and connect that. with people. So I think it's just perfect that you are the final <laughs> queen. Yeah. You are the final guest in our lay series. 
Series, Seven yes. Lay in the Seven Days, and you are actually tackling a, a, a pretty difficult lay, oh. the Hipo Upo style. Tell oh, us real quickly about actually, that. Actually, I love that lay because it kind of goes back to when lay really started because before it was only more forest foliage that they used to use, but the Hipo Upo style, uh, this lay method is nodding. Wow, you're so, wow. doing that, yeah. Wow. Wow. It seems hard, but it, it's not, and it's it's just it gives a grand gesture. That's how wow. you know she does. It seems hard, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> seven days of the uh, seven I've been days of the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna peek in on you, uh, uh, Natalie, throughout the show, and then at the end, can you hold with us? Oh, yeah. Before yes. we close out the show, all right. My pleasure. That is gonna be so awesome. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the stories that our Island News team is working on for us today. Our other lay, my favorite lay, Leo Iko Holokula joins us now at the news desk. What you working on, sis? I want that in writing. <laughs> okay. I want that in writing. <laughs> <laughs> 